Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again. Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So gang, this is going to be another one of them crazy matrix talk videos, right? Um, as the journey proceeds, things just seem to, well, things are getting, um, coming more to light collectively, right? Um, but things are just, just really weird and I just don't understand certain things, right? So nobody actually owns Mother Earth, right? So why? are people allowed to not saying you can't um work and buy stuff right but like being able to buy land i don't understand why people are able to buy land when no one actually owns mother earth right uh, say for instance oh, i don't know i'm trying to get because i've gone out for an, uh, a straw in like the woods and stuff and there's this nice big field right to the right of me literally and I can't walk on the field because it's private property and it's like dude oh yeah we've got a nice view and and it's like dude I don't understand why like really and truly like should just hop over the fence but I'm not in the mood to be rebellious and shit so what's it no private land no access or right of way right and this field just looks amazing. I just want to stroll in the field, right? And like, it's like, there's so much space and it's only got grass on it. Yeah, there's no animals. Um, so what's the kind, what's, what's be like people are just hoarding land. Do you know what I mean? So I don't understand, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know, I just see things totally different. Not even different, I see things the way they should be and stuff like because the way people are the way society is right or the way society is made up will have you thinking that what thi what people and things are doing in society is normal when it's not normal but yeah that's a, it's such a sick view that's with the crickets and shit but um yeah like being it's why we've got a, pr a big problem in the cities, right? And they're trying to cram everyone into cities, talking about there's no space um, for public housing and everything in the cities are just fucking... Um, everything in the cities is just... Um, yeah, it's just draining, yeah? And they they set up cities like that because if you look, the cities look exactly like a motherboard from a computer right so it is like programming so the way the system has been programmed is to make people think what they're doing in the system and participating in the system is normal and it's not normal like even <laughs> they've been they're very smart these people they're very smart um like they've been studying biology, physiology, psychology, psychology, physiology, and biology for decades. And it's not hard to program people. So like social media, right? It's programming. If you notice, yeah, the younger generation, technology wise, they're very fast and stuff. But when it comes to um, like, practical stuff it's like they can't think for themselves like growing up in the 90s like we was we had to be our own individual people you know like um but now everyone wants to be like everyone else if that makes sense even like with the bloody the plastic surgery and everyone getting blms and bbls brazilian but yeah bbls yeah it's like Everyone wants to be like everyone else, right? And it's like, dude, you are unique, yeah? You should be um, embracing your uniqueness and your flaws. I know sometimes it can be hard to do that, but the flaws, they need more loving, should we say, right? So yeah, anyway, like I was saying, the, the way the system is set up, it's got people thinking that it's normal and it's okay and it's not normal and it's not okay, right? So don't let these people be having you thinking it's normal. But like I was saying, people, um, yeah, like there's enough to go round, right? 
like with everything mother earth provides for for all yeah all their children so food water um she provides for all but then you have this certain number small number of people that want to control everything right so they want to control the food they want to control the water like everything in right now in this matrix is like literally artificial <laughs> if you're getting food from like a supermarket it's all like artificial right um and even even the weather's artificial because I was speaking to my friend and I think if you do your research I think we haven't seen natural weather yeah um since about the 50s right so that thing that happened in um it was like a flood or something in Dubai or something yeah and the the Dubai government literally blatantly said like yeah we're cloud seeding right and that's like geoengineering right <laughs> um and no one's complaining about it and it's like du technically dubai is not even meant to be there yeah because dubai is in the middle of a desert and there's literally nothing there so every the good majority of the things there is just artificial so this is why you've got this big push um for you've got a lot of celebrities a lot of people want to go to dubai and it's just like to me they're like fueling the the narrative <laughs> if that makes sense like yeah go here spend your money and do this and that and it's like it's artificial yeah i don't know man some things just don't make sense to me man yeah but yeah no one should own land like we can have like i don't know it's hard to explain like we shouldn't actually own no one owns mother earth right so no one should actually permanent permanently own anything like we should honour and honour the things that we have like at the time like if you build a house right like at some point it's going to have to go back to mother earth right so and then if it doesn't like people just want to hoard things like people i don't understand why people want to hoard things i just don't get it like even like so say for instance like owning land right i don't understand why people should get to own land um and what's another thing like borders who created these borders i've said this like a number of times in my videos <laughs> like um who created borders like who's created like this invisible line yeah that says this is our land and that is your land it's like, dude, there's so many things people are fighting over in this 3D realm when it's not even actually their, theirs. It's like, for instance, Palestine and Israel, right? It's like, this is our land, da, 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 da. so they're going to war and shit. And it's like, dude, like, who's saying this is our land? No one owns Mother Earth, right? And if you haven't clocked, why is the wars only one-sided? Like, why... Why, why are governments sending all tax money to Israel? What about Palestine? Yeah, so you, you can see the imbalance. It's, things are one-sided. Why are things one-sided? I don't know. And I don't understand. But yeah, it's um, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, owning things. Yes, yeah, interesting. Um, like when they say the world is overpopulated like dude the world is not over like the field that i just showed you right like people could build like little huts and shit I'm not saying to own it's hard to explain man i don't yeah it's hard to verbalize certain things um like you should be able to build a hut for your family and stuff but then at some point it will have to get given back right if that makes sense um yeah i don't know but yeah there's hot there's so much land have you ever been on an airplane right you know how much land is out there, yeah? And they're saying the, the world is overpopulated. No, the cities are overpopulated, right? So this is where um, the problem lies, is the cities are overpopulated. They don't want, if you become self-sufficient, right, yeah? They don't like this. They, that's why they're um, paying farmers to sell their land and stuff 
because once you become self-sufficient, right? Um, yeah, check this out. Yeah, once you become self-sufficient, yeah, um, you no longer need um, the system, should we say. Like people living off grid and stuff, right? They, they, they don't need like the system. Like, listen, if the, um, what's it called? The, the grid collapses in the cities, right? Um, a lot of people are going to be losing their shit. A lot of people are going to be losing their shit. Right, mate, can we walk down this way? No. 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 Okay, all right, thanks. You've got to go back through there and down the other side of the footpath. Yeah, all right, thank you. There's no way even down this path here. Oh, no? Yeah. All right, then, thanks. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, so it's just, it's just interesting um, because, yeah, no one should... Yeah, sorry. Once you become self-sufficient, right? Um, yeah, you don't need the system. And a lot more people are becoming aware of this about being self-sufficient, right? Um, <clears throat> and not trying to rely on the system because it's about control, right? So, I love, to, I love exploring, but exploring is tiring, you know? <laughs> that will go into the wild. Like, yeah, I love that film. I'm currently reading the book Into the Wild as well. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, once you become, a lot more people are becoming more self-sufficient and stuff. Like a lot more people are starting to homeschool their children and starting to question more stuff. Even like pharmaceuticals and stuff. People are starting to question and do their research. Like we're in the age of Aquarius, right? So we have information widely available to us right so people should be using this to their advantage but as we're seeing with um what's it called we're seeing a lot of censorship and stuff now right <sighs> fucking hell we're seeing a lot of censorship a lot of censorship right and this is trying to control the narrative to try to keep people in this small little box right but yeah, trying to keep people in a small little box, and it's like oh yeah, literally into the world. Um, yeah, trying to keep people in a small little box, trying to keep control and greed. There's a small number of people that are just fearing of losing control and greed and stuff, and it's like, dude. Like, they're the ones that are causing all this separation and stuff, right? And it's like, while we're bickering among, amongst ourselves over the scraps, should we say, they're laughing because they're, they're the ones that are controlling the narrative. But things are changing. Yeah, things are changing, but... Jesus is slow. <laughs> Jesus is slow. It's frustrating as well because if you've been aware, conscious of certain things, um, you will. Yeah, if you've been conscious of certain things, like you can see how things are being played out and dragged out in the system, and it's low key annoying. All right. Oh, fucking hell. Tiring. Um, yeah, it's frustrating. But yeah, things things are coming together. Things are coming together. Things are falling apart, but also coming together at the same time. And it's like the scales have been imbalanced for so long um, that it's coming back into balance. So, and uh, the star is doing doing its thing, man. Like um, the activity activities with the sun is just wild right now. The human resonance is crazy. So. I don't know, my energy has just been fully off for a little while now, man. Um, trying to ground is just crazy. Like, if, if there's like, um, what's it called? Solar flares? Solar flares? Yeah, solar flares and stuff coming from the sun. I get literally wiped out. Like, literally, I'm, yeah, I'm gone. Um, my energy has just been all over the place recently, man. It's crazy times. Crazy times. But, um, yeah, not trying to make a long, a long video. 
but it was just like yeah come to mind about about owning uh, like even it's like consumerism and materialism like these people them things just literally take control of people the more you have the more the things you have own you the more you own the more the things you have own you or something like that um and it's true it's really true man it's like people i remember what was it a few years ago i went to the um what's it called I went to the fun fair and there was this woman and we got on the, i got on the biggest ride there and i remember she was on the ride as well and like you're meant to hold the the straps to hold you in and she was clutching clutching her bag her parada bag and i was like dude like if something was to malfunction yeah you're going to fly out of this machine and your parada bag is going to go one way and you're going to go the other way right <laughs> so she didn't want to part with this bag and i was just looking at her and i was like wow okay cool like a bag means more to you than your your safety and stuff so it's like yeah certain things i just don't understand from humans you know i really don't <laughs> it's interesting but um yeah you just gotta ride it out yeah so whatever wherever you're at on your journey just try to be compassionate with yourself um can we go down here i don't know i think we can go down here oh. All right, fair enough. More exploring, I guess. Yeah, so wherever you are on your journey, try to be compassionate with yourself, man, because, yeah, yeah, it's a rough ride, like DMX said and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, gang, I'm going to hit you guys up real soon anyway. Peace, love, and that, tribe.